I think you come to the Bellevue to win it. One that show is fine. Good afternoon and welcome to the Don Morrell Show, your chance to hear the thoughts and comments of the head football coach of the Little Giant program. After an off week last week, Coach, uh, we get a chance to look back two weeks ago uh, to a big game here at Wabash, homecoming, uh, the debut of Little Giant Stadium, and equally important, a 36-28 win over Allegheny. We'll go ahead and look at some highlights and let's talk about your team's performance on Saturday. First, offensively. You get 291 passing yards from Liam Thompson. Uh, the ground game was effective again. Donovan Snyder over 100 yards rushing. Uh, what did you like about your team's performance on offense? You know, it's funny because after the game, I, I don't think anybody on our staff felt like we played well. And you realize you had over 500 yards of offense. I, I think I, I was just troubled by the inconsistency. The penalties drive me nuts. And then certainly we had three fumbles in a game. We've not, we have not done that in the last five years. Yeah, that was going to be my follow-up. Uh, so what does this team need to do to eliminate those types of mistakes? You know, some of those con somewhat controllable mistakes with the penalties and the turnovers. On the, you know, on the penalty front, I think a couple of those were accurate, great calls. I thought a couple were questionable, but that's how it, that's how it goes. And we have coached really hard this week to keep our hands inside, move our feet, that kind of thing. And then uh, Allegheny was a pretty physical football team. Uh, two of those fumbles, they physically knocked the ball out of our hands. So uh, we practiced pretty rough this week uh, to get ready for that. Certainly our next opponent's gonna be equally physical. Defensively, it was really a, a tough game to get anything going defensively because they were playing such a dink and dunk type of offense where they were hitting quick screens, quick hitters outside to inside. Uh, you know, they, they set a record for the number of passing completions in a game against a Wabash defense, but there really wasn't a lot you, were, you would have been able to have done other than line up right next to the wide receiver. How frustrating is that for your defense? And how pleased are you with the job they did overall against a, an offense like that from Allegheny? Well, and really I was pleased. It was, I don't know, 93 degrees out on the turf. They threw it 75 times. It's easy to get pretty tired out there. Our guys hung in there. We were without Jose Franco. I think Allegheny was aware of that, and they took advantage of it at corner. Also, uh, Casey Crozier, one of our captains on defense, was out too. So um, we just didn't feel like at any point we were of full strength and then just inconsistent on both sides of the ball. Of course, one of the uh, big keys to the game, you come out trailing 7-6 at halftime and then rolled off a 23-point third quarter. Uh, were there adjustments that you made at halftime, or was it just better focus or just better execution or, or just really running what you wanted to run? I, I, th I think the kids stepped back away from the game I, in the first half. They felt like we should be up 28 to nothing and we were going to steamroll this team and that's just not going to happen. Uh, and it's great we have the new stadium and all the stuff going on, but also our opponents are going to bring their A game every week to this venue. And I, I think, I hope we learned a valuable lesson um, and we still came away with the win. And of course, one of the key plays of the game, uh, Allegheny scores, they have a chance to retake the lead after you jumped in front, uh, I, I believe it was 20 to, to uh, 13 at the time, or 2014, they have a chance to take a lead. Cameron Ferguson blocks the extra point, ball's lying in the back of the end zone, and a very alert Sean Sinovic races back, grabs it, and takes it the other way for a two-point conversion. It was a very alert Sean Sinovic and a very sleepy officiating crew because the ball should have been blown dead. <laughs> Um, at some point, you've got to do something. I think the kids did exactly what they, they should do on a, a, a ball that's still alive. Um, but the fact is, once that ball hit the turf, it should have been blown dead. But you play till the whistle, and that's what Sean did, and two points for the Little Giants. The good news was it didn't affect necessarily right. the outcome of the game since it wasn't a two-point uh, game, but just an alert play by Sean. And 
it, it, you know, Wabash again holds on for that 36-28 victory. A key win because now you get in, you're, you know, you're in the heart of the North Coast Athletic Conference schedule. Uh, third opponent of the season coming up this week. You travel to Granville, Ohio to take on Denison University. They're coming off of a huge win this past weekend. Uh, they were outscored by Wittenberg in the early going 16 to nothing and then ran off 21 consecutive points to claim a 21-16 victory over the Tigers. That keeps Denison undefeated in the conference standings. You'll go over undefeated in the conference standings. What do you see on film that you expect from on offense for Denison? A good senior quarterback in Drew Dawkins, and he has a lot of talent around him with their wide receivers, and they've developed a pretty solid running game. They have. I think what they've really developed in the last five years is tremendous culture there. Uh, they do a super job. Uh, offensively, they block well. They've got a great plan. Dawkins has been in it for a few years. Uh, he also saw a great guy run it, so they know what they're doing. And then it's a typical uh, Denison defense. They are just really feisty and tough, uh, give you a million different looks. Uh, they pressure quite a bit. So we, we're going to have our hands full. We need to play a great game Saturday to have a chance to beat these guys. Well, you mentioned the Denison defense. One of the key plays late in the game against Wittenberg, the Tigers are driving. They've got a chance to, to go ahead with maybe about a minute and a half left in the game. And they ran a, a jet sweep to the left side. And Denison's defense had just completely exposed that, got in for a, a big loss on the play. And that forced a long fourth down play that came up empty for the Tigers. So their defense is aggressive. It'll play hard. And we, we've seen in games that, that we've played against the Big Red before, It'll be a tough, hard-hitting game against them. It will. It, I expect it to be our most physical game thus far, and uh, you cannot commit turnovers in this game and have a chance to win, and then you've got to be patient too. That game is this Saturday. It's a 3 o'clock start in Granville, Ohio. We will not have radio coverage. I'll be here at home with uh, the Wabash soccer team uh, taking on Hiram College at 1 o'clock here at Fisher Field. But the football team will take on Denison in Granville, 3 o'clock. Uh, there will be live video coverage and live stats. Those links are available on the Wabash College schedule page on the football page. Coach, you finally you, you get back on the road. How did, the, how did you feel your team handled all the distractions last week? And is there a benefit to getting back on the road this week? Uh, there's a benefit. You, you just knew two years ago when we announced we were going to build the stadium, there would be an opening game in the stadium. And then you lump that on top of homecoming and all the other senior day. Uh, there were a gazillion distractions. Uh, in the end, we did win the football game. It was a win over Allegheny. We'll hope for the same this week against Denison. Coach, best of luck, safe travel, and I know we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. You've been watching the Don Morrell Show, your chance to hear the thoughts and comments of the head football coach of the Little Giant program. We'll talk to you next week. I think you come to the Belgium to win it. The Wabash always fight.